Hey, Phil from Got Memories here. Okay, so I am, uh, I've got a moldy tape job. Some are better than others. Ooh, whatever that is right there. Um, that one is special. Oh, today we're joined by Birdie. Look at you. And then we have Winston. Say hello, Winston. Hey. All right, so... Pups are with me tonight. Are you guys ready to clean some moldy tapes? Yay. Should we put this in a VCR? No. Well, we're gonna, for the sake of YouTube. <laughs> now, don't ever do this, but um, this is a kind of throwaway VCR. Um, and I've got the top off of it, and I think it's all hooked up. Uh, um, hold on. Stand by. Because I did unplug this ready to go. Let's see. I never quite see. Video out. There we go. Video out. Video out. Yeah. It's late, so my brain isn't quite working. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Alright, you guys ready for this? Yeah? All right, so got it here. Let's uh, get this, make this there. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. You can see it going in. Oh, yeah. All right, as, oh God, <laughs> as expected. Oh, lordy, lordy. Oh, there is footage there. I can just tell by the snow. Not the snow on it, but... Oh, no, that's not what I want. I want that one. There we go. Play. See, look, there's audio. Hopefully that's not a Disney cartoon. But, yeah. Ironically enough, if you, these companies up here, if you've got a perfectly good tape, that's what their transfers look like with a perfect tape. Um, but if you do have this mess of tape, then everywhere rejects it. All right, this is special right here, this one. It says here, what, Family Reunion 1990 Master Copy. All right, boys, are you ready? Hope, yeah, you, you guys are ready to go home, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, not gonna be happening right now. Right, so just like a good chef, I have everything prepared, not. Um, okay, let's see here. And all my electric screwdrivers, there we go. Everything is kind of scattered all over the place because I came in here to check on a download and then I thought you know what I'm going to fix a tape or two and it is so your bedtime 7:33 it is on a saturday i have been in here periodically today we showed up at like midday didn't we and then they were barking at the front and I was like, what's going on? And there was a lady stood outside with a reel of film. And I thought, wow, impeccable timing. I am by appointment for drop-offs and I have it all over the website. All over the website, online as much as I can and people still show up. Um, okay, so, oh my goodness, I am... Um, where is my little razor thing that I just had? That's not it, but it's gonna have to do. So, split this open here. Where's my little razor? Okay. So, here we go. What I do like to do is kind of, if I can get these tops off, Look at that. That is bad. Hmm. All right. I'm going to do something here that is going to help. Um, yeah. 
Where's my razor? Did anyone see my little razor thing? Uh oh, here it is. All right, so where's my alcohol? All right, so. Right, let's do this. Okay, so this is a little bit, um, this is like guerrilla tactics right here. That there isn't a um, manual or a rule book or um, a school that you go to for this stuff. Um, and so you've got to improvise. And there will be trolls online. They're like, no, you don't do it like that, shish. Go make your own videos. All right, so you ready? I'm gonna crouch down here and do this. All right, try not to cut yourself. It's just probably not good to have the blade that way. Look, already. Uh, let's do this so. And this is a bit of a blunt blade anyway, so. Um, Sometimes this top bit will just snap off and it's great when that happens because then you can just clean it, but I don't, and then I got to super glue it back. Um, but look, you can see right here, boom, that was pure clean white um, a moment ago. All right, let's do it the other way. Oh God, that is sharp on the end. You've got to be careful. Careful with my fingers, not with the tape itself. Um, see, look, that gets a good majority of the gunk off. Um, I'm going to keep going with it because um, and let's see. Douse it, just cover it. Oh, come on, there we go. A couple times over. It is working. Should have taken a before picture of this. Look at that. Yeesh. All right, let's do this side. I don't know what I'm doing here, but it seems to be doing the job. Because that's m this is more like tighter in the area, it's going to be harder to get into. That's what she said. Okay, that's as good as that's gonna get for now. All right, let's do this. Let's pop this in. Pop that on. All right. <laughs> and I did just replace the pads. Oh, crack. Come on, let's get in there. All right. All right, um, I'm gonna put a little contact cleaner in there just, just for safe measure because if there is sticky tape syndrome, it's kind of like, it doesn't harm it, but um, it's, um, all right, let's go. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Blah, blah, blah. We're gonna do a little. Whoopsie! I don't want to get going too fast right now. That bit of cotton there is. So 
but it is pretty sticky. So now all that middle white bit is going to be on the outside. So hopefully I can uh, get to it. The good thing is it's not shedding, but whew, you can see all the flakes of crap floating off. Ooh. Um, alrighty. Oh boy. Okay, so now that that's done, that's a result because it didn't snap or shed or anything like that. I'm gonna clean underneath here and a couple times. Um, and it is filthy and Go. Okay, now what? Um, let me think. I'm gonna flip it back. Ooh. And oh no, that's not what we want. Okay, let's see. I've got to sort this out. This is a bit of a mess. Mm -hmm. All right, too much there. go we're gonna and then I like to instead of a, a, a blow job um, I like to give it a, a good suck in um, <laughs> all right and if a few of you have realized I am from England and oh shit um, and our senses of humor are quite stupid silly all right, flip it now. All right, here we go. Actually, here we no go. See, even with me handling this stuff over all the years, it's still an absolute baller cake. There's another English saying for you. You get to learn some Englishisms. All right, here we go. See, it's kind of warped. All right, just hold the tension there for a second. All right, let's do this. Let's do it, there we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's like being a bad DJ. Yeah, this is not good. Hey, yay. All right. This is, I could hear this when it was rewinding. It's kind of, and I cannot find my metric Allen wrench for these things, so the hubs come off. All right. So I'm gonna do something here that I forgot. Where's my knife? Um, there it is. No, that's not it. Where'd it go? It's in here somewhere. Oh, there we go. Nice job. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna give this another go here. And another good dancing. Let all that on the center there. Oh yeah, there we go. Come on, get in. Nice, lovely, jubbly. All right, oh for fuck's sake. Being English, we do swear a lot. Um, so bear with me. Uh, okay, so. 
that. Come on, you bastard. There we go. So I've been living in America for 30 years. I'm 47, so I've been living in America since I was a kid. But then I'll be back to England for a couple of years and, and then moved back when I was 20. And I've been here ever since, so. Although there are people that watch the YouTube videos and they're, oh shit, he's in England. Oh well. And I'm like, no, I'm in America. But I do get jobs from England. I get jobs from all over the place. I had a mini DV job. Mini DVD job. Here we go. I'm going to let that roll for a minute. Speaking of mini DVD, mini DV, mini discs, I have a job here right now which has been an absolute baller cake because it is AVCHD 2011 format. <sighs> None of them finalized. BDMV formats, MTS file pack, or no, BDMV file packet. Within that, is MTS files, which is all HD. It's a 1080 camera. These are HD dual layer discs, which are so rare. Anyway, I gave the customer the option of doing them in, in SD or HD, gave them the price, and like everybody, you know, they're like, nope, just one SD. Um, you know, for all the people out there that get really trolly about using Elgato and all that stuff, hey, I can do whatever people want, but it's what they're willing to pay. And they don't want to pay. Do they, buddy? And you don't need to pee because I just tent you out there to pee. I just, yeah, you just peed like before I did this video. <laughs> do do do. Let's give this a. Actually, before I give that a, give that a go. Um, where's my cloth? There we go. Let's clean some of these up. Ah, uh, ooh, come on. I hear the, the stickiness nature. All right. Okay. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it up so it doesn't recontaminate. Probably should have. Hold on. I'll tell you what, there's no point in sucking it up because it's just ingrained in there. Do, do, do. Okay. There we go. We'll give it a quick, quick blow job. All right. How's this going? Nice and slow. I'm gonna do it back and forth again, but I am gonna let it. Um, what am I doing? Oop. I'm gonna go back and forth a couple times, just because of the state of it. All these little mold and dust particles. If you're, um, if you've got allergies, it's always good to like vacuum it all up. Yeah, man. I mean, I could speed it up a bit. It's a bit. Grapey. What are you doing, birdie? Hey? Hopefully you don't need to take a dump. He actually took a dump in a couple months ago. 
not that that's information you want to know, but it does happen. Um, so I'm a bit extra vigilant with him, and it was probably my fault because I had him in here. What are you doing, birds? Hey, eh? You all right? All right. We'll be done in a minute. Don't you go doing what you're doing. All right, here we go, bingo. So I can see grime, look at that. You all right? All right, hold on. But it's all under here. You can see all this like, look at that. It's on the top and the bottom. It's everywhere. All right, mister. I know. He's like, this isn't fun. And we just went for a hike as well. So we came back and did this. All right. Um, I'm going to... Put all of this debris up. And then... I'm gonna give it another go on the blade. How the hell is that? I keep losing that bloody thing. Here we go. All right. Right, look at that. Okie dokie. Let's just wrap that around that and give it a little squirty squirt. All right, let's do this. There's extra little bits and pieces off. Look at that, still, still coming off. And even though this is visible, this is why so many companies don't do this because A, it's very time consuming. Oh, Lordy Lord, look at that. Very time consuming. And it's, you know, they, they these transfer companies, they have a hard time hiring just basic people to hit play. And, and that's why they all are transferring fuzzy pictures um, is because, uh, they're just not cleaning the heads or they're not paying attention and they're not got the tracking set or the heads are misaligned or the heads are filthy. Um, and everybody's, for some reason, I mean, I have no sympathy now for the general public when they're crying about their home movies being transferred poorly or getting ripped off or charged for getting back all their tapes with stickers on them saying there's nothing written on them. If you go to these companies' Google review sites or page and just click on all the one-star reviews, and yeah, there'll always be one-star reviews, not a got memories, but, um, you know, in any business, you're always going to have unhappy customers here and there, you know. I don't, but um, they, uh, you know, you're going to have some, but oh my God, it hundreds and hundreds, and it's not just like they sucked, it's paragraphs upon paragraphs of just sob stories of oh my god and it's like guys you have a phone you can look up reviews you can do your due diligence go on youtube you see loads of my videos calling everyone out other people have made the same videos it's everywhere the news is everywhere about how bad these companies are yet people keep sending them their stuff and it's crazy because you ask anybody if their house was on fire besides pets and human beings what's the one thing that you would run or grab your memories it's the one thing you'd risk your life for to go back into the house to grab but for some reason when it comes to picking a company that is going to 
take care of your memories and, and you're trusting them with them, you don't do any due diligence. I mean, if you're going to drop your kid off at choosing a daycare center for your kid or choosing a doctor or, you know, anything personal like that, you're going to do your due diligence. But for some reason, people just throw caution to the wind and they just don't care. And I have said recently, one of my taglines is, I seem to care more about people's memories than they care about their memories. I mean, they come across me and they're like, oh, you're expensive. No, I'm not. I mean, my average rate is like 35 bucks a tape. Well, these guys are seven bucks. These guys are 15 bucks. We're not all created equally, clearly. And the same for all these like high-priced, higher-priced companies. Like, you pay them. If they've got really good reviews and they're charging, you know, a decent rate, a, a, a rate that they're being rewarded for their knowledge and their expertise and also their, their caring nature and just being good human beings, you pay them. And the average ticket, my average order is about a thousand bucks. And I mean, people paid two, three thousand bucks for a basic camcorder in the later days, in the early days. People are like, yeah, but I got like 70 tapes on four different formats. That means that you have spent anywhere from $3,000 to $10,000 on camcorders. And then you've had a really good life because you've had a lot of moments in life. All your vacations, your Christmases. I see people with wedding videos. And I'm like, Who, how much did you pay that videographer to shoot that one tape? Two, three thousand bucks. And then the wedding costs 40 grand on the low end and here we are barking about a thousand bucks to preserve all of this stuff with quality with dignity with somebody that cares and but 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 the legacy books are like 350 oh my god what are we talking about here 650 bucks yeah it might say sound double triple the price but look at the mechanics of it you're getting nothing back for your money it just blows my mind again and again because I send out quotes every single day. People are like, mm, I'm going to go ahead and take a risk. Uh, why? If you check the reviews, well, you know, not really. And even when people tell me about Legacy Box, I'm going, have you, have you seen my videos? Have you seen the reviews? I'm a lady yesterday. I got like 50 tapes that I've already pre-purchased for 10 tapes. So I'm just going to go ahead and send 10 tapes. No, 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 no. You might not ever see those tapes again. And if you do, it'll be in 10 months time and you'll like get crap back and it's just absolutely pointless venture. What are you doing? But yeah, they're like, mm yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, all right. So we're coming to the end here of my bitch fest. Um, all these camcorders right here, all need fixing. That was all from yesterday from two gunky jobs. People don't talk about all the back-end work that needs to be done on taking on these tapes that I don't know where they've been. I don't know where they've been stored. More than likely in garages. And they're like, no, they've been indoors. Mm, have, have they? Or have they been in indoors in a storage? <laughs> indoors inside of a garage indoors. Um, yeah. So, you know, when I'm sight unseen from everyone's stuff, uh, yeah. All right. Let's do this. Okay, come on. I've got way too much crap going on here. Ah, oh, shite. No, this is a plastic. Oh, this is a crappy tape housing as well. Oh, come on. There's just one little lip here you've got to get by. Look, you got it right there. And this is a crappy tape housing. This is like the later years of like... Um, well... And, the, you know, like everything else, there was uh, quality tapes. People, You know, you could buy high-grade tapes, low-grade tapes. Target tapes, Walmart tapes, Radio Shack tapes are the worst. Oh shit, was that for that? <sighs> See, look. Oh. Normally these have metal rollers. 
And then let's just get this, oh, come on. Let's give it a bit of slack here. See, even me, of the thousands of tapes I've taken to pieces over the years, I still, still fiddly stuff. That one in there, and I want to make sure that that actually, I think that might be there. We'll soon find out. Okay, I'm gonna, and you have to have this down. If you hear the clicking, that's good. If you don't hear clicking, you've messed up. All right, so let's, oh, these damn things. Anyway, let's do that. It's not really essential right now. But I've got to tell you, if you send off to any of these companies and that top is missing right there, they're going to reject it. The staff are instructed at these companies because they have quotas to me. I hear from the staff all the time because of my videos. They're just reaching out going, oh my God, you have no idea what it's like to it's total sweatshop. Sweatshop stuff with like managers that are just, ugh, like it just sounds horrible work environment. And they're like, you okay, you got to do a hundred tapes today. Okay. And if you don't do a hundred, and if they don't reach their quotas, they're in trouble. So if there is a tape that needs fixing or just even like, let's just put it in another player. I need to clean the heads. No, they're told to keep going. They are told if it doesn't play within seconds, you pull it and you put a sticker on it. And then, and that's why there's so many tapes just with stickers on them where they haven't even attempted to transfer because they've got, you know, 2 million tapes in the back ready to, you know, with everyone bitching, where's my stuff? Cause they do such an amazing job, job at marketing. Oh. All right. Moment of truth. I am going to put this, let's get this right here. I can guarantee you that a lot of these employees at these uh, big box companies have never seen the interior of a VCR before. Um, oh, come on, and I always hate this. Oh. Okay, good. Line two. I guarantee you they've never seen... Um, yeah, the in inside of a VCR. They don't even know how a VCR operates, the mechanics, the science of it. Oh, mister... Oh, no, do you have to poo-poos? All right. <sighs> Quick. Let's go. Okay, say a prayer to the Panasonic gods. Here we go. Come on. Oh, shit. Racing against the... Oh, look, 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 look. Woo-hoo, buddy. Hi. Oh, my God. All right. I'm impressed with myself again. Dude. All right. I have to go now because Mr. Birdie, I think, has to go shapoopies. Anyway. Do you? <laughs> or you just bored? Oh shit. Um, okay, I gotta go. But anyway, it, it's a success story. Oh, there we go. Look, July twenty first, nineteen ninety. From the shittiest tape to clean. I'm happy, Wednesday. Whee! All right. Bye, guys. I gotta go.